and welcome back to another segment of How to Sigma. Today, we're going to be looking at how to copy trade on the Sigma Telegram bot. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now to get the main menu, all you need to do is click on that little icon here and click on start. Now we're going to click on copy trading. The first thing we're going to need to do is click on the blockchain we would like to start copy trading. So for this example, I'm going to be using the base blockchain. So I'll click on base. And here, if I had already set up some wallets that I was copy trading, I'll have a list of them where I can modify the parameters or the settings. But in this case, I'm going to add a new wallet to copy. So click on add wallet to copy. And now I'm going to enter the address that I would like to start copying. So I'm going to paste that address in and there we have it. Now I can scan this wallet to see what's in there by clicking on scan. And as I am on the base blockchain, it's going to take me to base scan. Now let's go over some of the settings for copy trading. The first thing we're going to look at is the amount mode minimum. And if you choose the amount mode minimum, the bot will actually decide the amount to buy between two amounts. And those amounts are your maximum amount that you have set in the bot and the amount of the wallet that you are actually copying. The bot will choose the lesser value of the two. An example of that would be if you have max amount set to one ETH and the wallet you are copying buys with two ETH, the bot will actually buy with only one ETH as it is the lower value. The same thing if you have one ETH and the wallet that you're copying buys with 0.5 ETH, the bot will actually choose 0.5 ETH because it is the lower of the two values. Now here we have the set max amount. And if you choose to have that enabled, the bot will only buy up to the maximum amount. And an example of that would be if you have the max amount set to one ETH and the wallet that you're copying is buying with two ETH, your bot will actually buy with one ETH. Or let's say you have it set to one ETH and the wallet that you're copying buys with one ETH, well, the bot will actually choose to buy with one ETH, your maximum amount set. Next, you have the wallet on your Sigma bot that you would like to use to actually copy trade. So I'm gonna use wallet number one for copy trading. I can also select all wallets. The next thing we have is the copy cell. And here you can actually select the amount that you would like to copy sell. So for example, if the wallet that you're copying sells 100% of their bags, but you're actually wanting to keep maybe 10 or 50% of your bag, then you can make those changes here. So I can simply click on it. And here it says, enter the copied sell percentage. So here I can say, okay, well, I'd like to sell only 60% of my bag. Send, and there we have it. Now I have my copy sell set at 60% because I'd like to leave 40% for a moon bag, maybe. Next, we have take profit and stop loss. If we click on take profit, so here it's asking me enter the take profit percent. So I'm gonna enter, let's say at 40%, I'd like to take profit. Click on send. And now it's asking me what percentage of my bag I would like to take profit when it goes up to 40%. So here I'm going to say, well, about 60% of my bag on send. So when the price goes up by 40%, I'm going to sell 60% of my bag. Now we have the stop loss in case things go south. And to set that, we'll simply click on stop loss, enter the stop loss percentage. So I'm going to say if it goes below 10%, I'd like to trigger a stop loss. Now it's asking me to enter the percent of your bag, okay, to sell if it goes below 10%. So I'd like to sell about 30% of my bag. And there we have it. Okay. My stop loss is triggered for a price. If it goes down to minus 10%, I'm going to sell 30% of my bag. Now here we have the gas and custom gas. We can simply click on the gray icon and you can enter your custom trading gas amount. So right now I have 0.3. I'm going to enter 0.1. Click on send and my gas has been changed. The same exact way I can change my sell gas. So it's at point 0.1, I can put point 0.05, okay? 
Now I can rename, okay, the wallet that I'm copying. So I can rename and I can say small wallet. <laughs> it is a small wallet. Okay. And hit enter copied wallet. So this is the wallet that I'm copying. Okay. And it's a small wallet. Now we're going to go further into settings and here you can set your slippage. So my slippage is currently at 10%. I can increase that to about 20%. and enter. My buy tax is currently set at 5%. So I can increase that as well by clicking on it and 10. There we go. My sell tax is at 100% and I'm going to change that to about 20%. Minimum wallet balance. Now it says here, this USD value controls the minimum amount of balance a wallet should hold for a buy trigger. If balance is below this amount, a buy will not trigger. So the minimum balance of the wallet that I'm copying should always have, let's say 5,000. I mean, you can click on 5,000, enter, and there we have it. My minimum balance for the wallet that I'm copying should be 5,000. And here we have minimum liquidity. Now the minimum liquidity is for the token that you're buying, copying that wallet. So here, for example, let's say the wallet that you're copying buys a token with a liquidity of $100. Your buy will not trigger because your minimum liquidity is set to $250. And of course, you can change that. So simply click on it. And I would only like to trigger buy orders if the wallet that I'm copying only purchases token with a minimum liquidity of at least $1 thousand dollars okay enter and there we have it the alpha mode prevents you from buying honeypots tokens with high taxes and so on so red means that you cannot purchase those things however if you click on green it means that you can purchase the honeypots you can purchase very high taxes and so on so i'm gonna leave it on red because i don't want to purchase Honeypots. And here we have buy once. Buy once is you make a one-time purchase. Then we have minimum market cap. This sets the minimum market cap in USD a token should have to trigger your buy. If market cap is below this value and the setting is active, the buy will not trigger. And now I'm going to set my market cap to 50,000. And there you have it. Okay. Now the same goes for maximum market cap. And if we click on that, it says here, this sets the maximum market cap in USD a token can have to trigger the buy. If market cap is above this value, okay, and this setting is active, the buy will not trigger. So my maximum market cap, I'm going to set it at 1 million. Enter. And there we have it. Now, for the amount mode minimum, it says here, spends the smallest amount between the maximum amount and transaction amount. And for maximum, it always spends up to the maximum amount. Okay, so I'm going to leave it on minimum for now. Now, let's set the maximum amount. And for that, we'll simply click on set max amount. And here, I'm going to set the maximum amount in native cryptocurrency you want to spend on a copied trade. So I'm going to set the maximum that I can copy trade on with 0.0038 and click on send. And there we have it. Now I can click on start copying. Copy trading base copy registered expires in six days and 23 hours, copied wallet. So this is the wallet that I am copying. And here I can even make some changes if I'd like. Okay, so I can change my gas maybe to 0 0.01. And I'm gonna click on update changes. Keep in mind for every change that you make, it's very important that you click on update changes. I can go into settings and I can make changes from here. If I want to cancel my copy trade, I can simply click on cancel copy. Whatever settings that you change, you must click on update changes. For example, minimum market cap, if I wanted to change that, I can say, let's say 
okay? It's been changed. However, my changes will not take effect unless I click on Update Changes. Click on Update Changes, and there we have it. Now, here we're back in the main menu, and to access my copy trades, I'll simply click on Copy Trading. I'll click on the network. And here I have my wallet address that I've set up for copy trading. And if I wanted to make any changes to my copy trading, I'll simply click on the wallet address. There we have it. And that is what I have for you today for copy trading.